Ladies and gentlemen, it is a Wednesday, it is 8pm, there's only one place to be, it is Three Men and a Vape Show. As you can see, I'm joined by the wonderful, normal, wonderful casters. How are you doing, Harley? Sat at the back of, where is that? That's Whitby Abbey. It is Whitby Abbey, I should know that. Because I'm from Yorkshire. <laughs> I meant that especially. <laughs> He's the I... dick from Derby. <laughs> I meant that especially. Yorkshire, not Derbyshire. <laughs> yeah. I meant that earlier and I thought, well, I, I, I can't start to with that. Last time I tried to start without a green screen, he was like, what are you doing? It's about time you got your shit in order. <laughs> so I thought, I'll have to save the actual picture before I never then. say it like that, ever. Oh, I said to God, if we can, if by the end of the show we can get hashtag the dick from Derby going, I'd be, so, I'd be such a happy fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Met by evening. And we are also joined from, not the dick from Derbyshire, the wonderful Mr. B. Uh, Fat bastard from Burnley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm awesome, as always. Still living on that, I see. You know, so we, we've now got, we've turned the three-bedroom house into a two-bedroom flat where my wife has. And it's Awesome song. I'm just going to start off the show with an awesome chubby cuddles for everybody because I'm starting to feel fantastic again. Are you starting to feel fantastic? The chubby, the chubby, I can't even talk now. The chubby cuddles are the, out, people. The chubby cuddles the are ch- out. Ch- 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 chubby ch- cuddles. Ch- ch- <laughs> Big shout out to everybody who is in chat. Thank you so much for joining us as normal. You are a bunch of stars. Big love to all of you. Nice to see you, Devil Vapor. Nice to see MBK Vapor. Whole UK Vapor. There's loads. There's just loads. Oh, there's, pap- there's tons of people that come and see us now. It's like you know, spice, it's spice and easy. You can't get rid of him for that, Matty. <laughs> I hate to say the word, we can get rid of him for any reason. I love PUBG, PUBG is lovely. And the one, PUBG was like, Matty, how do you can't time PUBG out? He's Push cam. <laughs> for £4.50, he'll time anyone out. He was £4.50. <laughs> That's Matty Hardy on today. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's nice to see Spice and Easy on. But I tell you what, we have got to talk about them wonderful people also on the replay. Let's play the bumper. This one's for all the cool cats on the replay. It's the lovely people on the replay. It's just a good job we can't time us out, really, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Screen goes blank. I bet, I bet he tries. I bet he tries. Mr. B. Tano. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we was just saying, Dean, it does feel a bit strange you not obviously being on before us. You know, we're like, oh, I can start the stream now. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like well for the Monday show, buddy. We've got Full Moon, Ayup Miduk, Chris hey, up, Edwards, <laughs> Cody Volga, uh, Essence of Vapes, Danny Turner, Sparks and Fly, Matthew Smith, Retro Vape TV, Bob Cattrall, Vaping Chaos. Bob says, Harley, you get. You missed out my hand check. Sorry. So, it, it was one of them things last week. Do you, know, do you know this week, pretty much no one's posted on the wall uh, a day before. Why um, should they? You always forget him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this was the only time I said I will go back and get him. Um, they, they go and make the effort for you. You think, fuck him. Don't matter. <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, sh- shall we read a few out? <laughs> Full moon's internet went out for five minutes into the show. Had to catch a replay. Great show, guys. Hey up, Miduk says r- 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 replay this week. Great show, everyone. Chris Edwards, great show, guys. Now the Devil Vapor has moved to Monday. We could maybe even see a longer show from you. Fuck, I can't <gasps> deal with more than an hour of these two. Fuck, we trying to I do. I can, me? I can. I think that's a cracking idea. An hour and a half, extra half an hour. <laughs> the problem with that is you're. <laughs> I've got. A, I've come up with this fear that you're trying to brainwash me into becoming Derbyshire Aryan, and. Uh, any longer than an hour and a half a week. Is that even a fucking word? Don't push it in. I just fucking med it. Aren't I? See, this is why you piss me off at school. The teacher would be like, that's not a word. Like, so you're telling me that Shakespeare were great because he made his own words up, but I can't. Damn right. Shakespeare had a brain. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget ladies and gentlemen we will be later on doing the wonderful giveaway for the Roger Project you've got your chance to get your hands on the brand new flavour which is absolutely gorgeous a review just out for that today I did it with my wonderful wife and I mean the review um, also if you check down in the corner while the show's on for an hour you've got 15% off store wide of the Roger Project 
So use that code, get yourself over there. As you can see, we have no guests this week. We decided we'd just have us a wonderful three. Um, next week, we have got Matt uh, from the vaping... Um, sorry, sure. <laughs> We've got, Grizzly We've got Grizzly on from uh, the Vaping Misfits next week to promote the uh, charity stream. Grizzly's awesome. I fucking love Grizzly. Uh, he's yeah, such cool. a proper, decent dude. And unlike Harley, he's not from Derby. So, you know, I can really, <laughs> I can really get on board with Grizzly. So, yeah, it's going to be <laughs> an absolute cracking show next week. And uh, we will be talking about all of me eating. This I just can't believe that I'm going to eat. The, the smoothie is absolutely nothing compared to that. I bet that tastes like chicken. I hope it does taste like chicken. I think you should try one now. <sighs> no, I can't. I've got it. I've got to do it on the stream. <laughs> Can I swap it with some, like, scorpion gummy bears or something? Some scorpion gummy bears. Are we a little bit... We shouldn't be... Uh... I'm, we're all nice and loud this way. Maybe turn up, you thingy. Hooked on turn up. We're a little bit quiet. Turn up. Not touch any settings. Well, we can solve that problem. Hey, up, Chuck. Hey, we're live. <laughs> <laughs> so then, it's it's been a week. So what have you been up to this week? I think we've all been in a bit of a there, haven't we? It, to be honest, I mean, I've got good reason to be blur. Harley's just blur normally. I think it's, it's one of those, you know, it's it's one of those times for me. The one thing I, for the guy who does like the, the deals and stuff, the one thing I'm noticing in the vaping is there's a lot of good deals about, which means there's usually an influx of good shit coming, or at least new shit coming. Whether it's good or not is remains to be seen. But other than that, this week, the last 10 days for me has been bleh. It's just proper like down and... That I might think, be a bit better. Oh, is, that, is that better? Can, can you hit, I can hear you now. Bloody hell, you're a lot louder. Yeah. Right, it, again. For some reason, I had like automatic uh, move it down. Yeah, that's it. Step back. Step back, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Step away from the microphone. Um, but no, I think, yeah, I think we've all been a bit. <sighs> is, do you reckon it's ending of COVID? Do you reckon like we're now sort of getting to the, the end of it? Do you reckon that could be it? Yeah, we're, we're, we've all been in his houses for a year and now going, fucking hell, I went out yesterday. Shit, you know, I'm knackered. <laughs> don't, don't want to go out again. There's too many dicks out there. <laughs> well, I, 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 can't, I haven't been to the pub yet, which obviously you can go and sit outside. I just can't believe um, is the, the amount of people who are actually sat outside a pub. <sighs> just to be honest, I, I just, there's a pub up the road from me and on a Saturday night, up until COVID, I could tell you what band was playing because they play that loud. And it's no big because I can open my window and I get a free like music show. Um, but ever since COVID's been off, it's you know not had to hear it. And it's been glorious. Now all of a sudden, they're back at Mega Decibels again. I'm like, oh, just fuck off. Well, we, we did say that over road from us. Obviously, we've got the club and we've got the sports bar on the corner. And it, obviously, for the last year. Uh, it's been shut really, so you haven't had any of that noise. So I wonder what it's going to be like for us because you just get used to it. You get used to that noise mm -hmm. being there. So I wonder what it's going to be like to to get back to it. Although no. to be fair, we've just had a geezer moved in next door, who is sort of complaining at the slightest of noise. So it's going to be fucking awesome when that pub really gets going. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. You don't know what you've walked into, son. Do you know the really <laughs> shit? Sorry, is. The really shit thing is because I've been going to shop pretty much every day throughout all of this. So not to open, but because I've got stuff to do and stuff to send off and whatnot, whatever else. And uh, the, the really shit thing is now having to sit in traffic. You get to a roundabout and have to stop, and you think, "What the fuck is all this about? Come on! Oh. There's only one car, and you would move. Come that, on! That would that'd drive me insane." The wife went to pick up a new TV tonight. And literally 20 minutes later, like, I said to her, where the fuck are you? Argos is only that road. She was still stuck in traffic. I'm like, what? Traffic? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just, Just yeah, still loud no. farts and tell them to park now. Did no, anybody... see, if, I, if I'm in a car and I do a loud, and I do a loud fart, my car just takes off. Yeah, so, so I've got to be a, careful a, that. Extra bit of a push. <laughs> Did anybody else well, yeah. see in London, with the so down in Soho, it was just like a, a, they were just like side by side. <laughs> there were no social well, yeah. distancing. There were nothing. 
And like, I guarantee in three months again, those our numbers will be back up and be, oh, what happened? I'll tell you what happened. You're all dicks. <laughs> That's what happened. It's just, I don't know. It's like, uh, I think the best way to explain it is if you go on, if you fast yourself for a, a decent amount of time, I'm not talking like 40 days and 40 nights. If you fast yourself for a day and a half, a digestive biscuit tastes amazing. Nowadays, because everybody, everybody's been stuck in for so long that even the thought of going out to the pub at night must be almost sexual to some people. We went to Bakewell, which is in Derbyshire, over there. <laughs> <laughs> but they make exceedingly good cakes. And, and, uh, <laughs> and we went to uh, Monsled as well. Um, and I'm not a fan of Bakewell. It's just one of them little places that people go to spend money in this fuck over here. But I did... It were very nice to see people out. And I know there's a lot of people going, oh, my God, people are going out. How dare they? But in my eyes, you've got to. You've got to go here and you've got to buy the fish and chips and shit to get that economy going. Because it's all one good saying, oh, the shops are short, economy is fucked. But economy is only fucked if we carry on not spending. If we carry on spending, then economy will fairly be all right. Obviously, unemployment's still an issue. But... The, the, the things have to go on and the things have yeah, to go but, but I it can just... spend my money perfectly well without leaving my house once. Yeah, yeah. but that's all well and good. But... <laughs> I need to leave my house to spend money. That's yeah. all and good, but all them poor retail assistants in Primark that are going bust because you're giving all your money to Amazon's a bit shit. Well, do, they, do they not have access to a post office? Well, not now, because the post <laughs> office is shutting, aren't they? They're, they're, they're now telling uh, Louise's grandma, she's 80-odd, eight, um, she's always had a post office either card or account because obviously when they went from post office because they used to have like a gyro didn't they so what they used to do is go around get the gyro and that with a pension and then they moved them to that card and now because they're shutting all post offices or they're moving them into like just shops these the older generation now are having to have it put into the banks I know it might make it look a little bit easier but some, some people don't work like that still yeah no well it's changed the way it, it's a digital age nowadays yeah, and money, money going into a bank rather than a gyro, freaking hell! Oh. Well, that, well, they, they did. They just gave them a card, so it was a post office account. But now they're all saying yeah. because the post office is shutting, they're either a part of a convenience store now, a post office, and this is where mm. these, you know, like these parcels to go. I use that a lot to to ship out winnings and stuff like that. They come to your house, collect it, and it's two pound odd. But what you're thinking about is is when you used to go to the post office, you'd nip somewhere else to your butcher. The butchers are now shut or shutting because they're all getting them from uh, supermarkets. So all them not my butcher. <laughs> my butcher's going strong and he's fucking awesome too. The, the, the fruit and veg shops as well that you don't get anymore. Like you said, the, the ice street is completely and utterly dying because you can literally yeah, go on Amazon, is. get anything you want there and then, and it's delivered next day. However, it's so funny about the Wales. Street, oh, oh, go on, we're going we're to have a crack at Wales. Well, no, this but, is going to go down well. It was that thing <laughs> last year where Wales went, tell you what we're going to do, we make a supermarket stop selling things like clothes because it'll help everyone else. Well, it's not going to help anyone else because they're all sure. The only people it's going to help is Amazon. Yeah. And Jeff Benzos really, really doesn't need any more help. Hey, well, it's, the it's thing like, is... It's, sorry, I'm just saying, on. it's like the devil vapor just said as well, the banks are shutting. So you, you haven't even got a bank in your... So you've got nowhere to put money in. So if you do use cash, you've got nowhere to put the money in. The thing is what I'm noticing, though, although high streets are becoming a thing of the past now, there are a lot of things springing up as far as small businesses are concerned. Like you're on about fruit and veg. There's a place that's opened up here and they've only got a Facebook page, nothing else, but they're doing amazingly well. And it's a, a delivery to your door fruit and veg service. And you pay 25 quid for a, a bucket of veg. And they, and they turn up, we're like, we, you know, you get some weird shit in there, dragon fruit and stuff, and you spend half an hour, what the fuck do I do with this? You get but, some weird shit like carrots. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, hey, it's, 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 all, it's all French to me. You know? well, it's, it's one of those things where if, I see as a said. human race, as a human race, we have this amazing ability to adapt. We always have been. It's what makes us amazing and i think with everything that happened with covid and all this sort of thing we've seen an adaption of how the high street was into something a little bit different but it's still good for small businesses oh, I, 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 think, I, don't, I don't think it is for the only thing we've got just say here in, in this village where we are now we've got finn's vape shop on corner 
We've got about mm -hmm. 16 hairdressers and nail bars. We've got about 15 takeaways. And we've got uh, a Tesco's and four bookies. So what you're going to do is you're going to be able to get your food, your hair cut. So we're all fat bastards with long hair. And you can put a bet on because we're all gamblers. And the rest right, and well, there's a few pubs. Yeah. All right, you're not going to get a door-to-door -door bookie service. I get, you know, well, I you get can, that. You can just go on your app uh, and do it. But what, well, what, <laughs> what I'm saying to you is, is there's no more of this where you can go into your fruit and veg shop and, and you say, because you went in every day or every week and you bought, so they throw some extras in. Your butcher, you can get different cuts of meat. And they throw you a couple of pig's dicks in for dog and stuff like that. You don't, you don't get you, it. But if you're dealing with like these little Facebook businesses, so that's what I call them, you still get that service because you get to know them through Facebook. All right, it's not face to face, but you still get to know them, mm -hmm. and they'll still like throw you in like a couple of extra bananas in if you want a couple of extra bananas or a few extra sausage in once they get to know you. The problem is, I, I had one butcher throw me in. I had one butcher throw me in a slow cooker once. So I was like, hey, nice one, thank you. The, the problem <laughs> is, what we do is, I, I had this when I when Bunny Up first opened, and everyone like, oh, Tav shut, Tav just shut now. I used to love that pub. Oh, it was, it was brilliant. And I was like, it was shit. I went in. And they're like, no, no, it was brilliant. If it's brilliant, why is it shut? Oh, well, because we didn't win enough. Well, then you can't have both. You can't say we want lo uh, a local butcher's, a, a local um, fruit and veg store, we want a local tie shop, we want a local shoe shop, and then not go in them because then they can't stay open. Yeah. I, I do completely agree with what you're saying, Aidan, but what my point being is everyone wants that bit of convenience. They all yeah, want everyone yeah, so, in. So, so everybody, what, everybody opposes the self checkout things, but everyone still uses them. And you go, well, they're going to stay if you keep fucking using them. Yeah, <laughs> you know the, I mean? the, yeah. But what what my, my point was, and, and it, let us know in chat as well what you're thinking about with this. Do you think that the the high street is being killed by such as like your Asdas, your Morrisons? Because when you walk into an Asda now. You can get your photographs done. You can get your shoe shop done. It's all under one place, and they're, they've got it all there. Your fruit and veg, your beer, the, the whole lot is Things just are, there. It's all mediocre stuff, though, isn't it? It's like the the meat I get from the butchers that we go to, or that my wife goes to, I say we, I, I don't go, she goes, is far superior to anything you can get from a, an Asda or a Sainsbury's yeah. or anything like that, by the nth degree far superior. And that's what I think will keep these smaller businesses running because at the end of the day, it's like that butchers that we have. They have a Facebook page that they do door-to-door -door meat service. And I think, you know, I think it's just, they just got to adapt these small businesses to keep running because the day of the high street is long dead. Yeah, I, I, I think it just takes money because obviously you, the, the money that we're spending are going into big companies that that um, you know such as like your Amazons, um, the, your um, your Tesco's, your, all these. It's going into big, massive companies. So all right, these people who are doing Facebook stuff, um, as well as with these Facebook stuff, you ain't got a clue where they're coming from, really, have you? Where, where the stuff's coming from, and and you find that the deer as well. Uh, well, uh, that's depends. At the end of the day, if I don't know if it's dear, man. I mean, so I don't if, if you're, size if you've got a bucket of fruit for 25 quid. You've got a fruit and veg store that's been there for, or a fruit and veg shop that's been there for 20 odd years, and you know that you're going to get, and like your butcher, my, our, we've got one butcher now on the corner, um, but it was like the butcher before, he was called Butterworths. He was absolutely fantastic, did pies, the whole lot. Uh, but he mm. ended up finishing because, in the end, they used to buy full carcasses, didn't they? And then yeah, chop yeah, it up yeah. and do it. In the end, it was cheaper to buy it in in already cut up and done. Already cut, yeah. Because you yeah, can't no, you but... can't um, compare or, or go to the same price as the buy buying power as somebody such as Asda and, and where else. Well, we we do the same in the vape industry though. We our version of Amazon is somewhere like E Sig One or Evolution, and I don't know many people that I personally speak to who would go to a brick and mortar store over somewhere like Easy Wong because it's generally twice the price. Well, you, you, you've got to think, again, this is a massive, brilliant conversation. I think your bricks and mortar stores are, because remember, 90% 90, 90 of the people aren't like how we are. We're all hobbyists where a lot of them just come in. It's like Finn will be able to tell you. Um, a lot of people come in there going to buy the same juice, the same coils week in, week out. I'll have a coil for this and that. And 90% of the business that he gets walking there, these lads don't really stop that many RDAs or that because people aren't into mm. the rebuild of the stuff. No. They're all tanks or they're all um, uh, yeah, 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 pod know. systems. This is yeah. where the retail 
the, the brick and mortar retail, the high street, as you call it, is getting, has got the advantage Fuck up. of if you want to buy some clothing, I'd much rather buy it in person because I can feel the material. I know it's not some dry, horrible shit. If it's got a print on it, I know it's a, that, a decent print that doesn't stretch and rip. If you go into a vape shop, because I'm extremely, extremely picky about my liquid, and I I do it online now because obviously I've got wholesale loaders and stuff, so I just buy a load of shit and then decide which ones I want. But the I, I, I before I owned a shop, I would never buy juice online. I'd rather go into a shop and smell 99 bottles and choose the last one. Um <laughs> So I that's bottles, but a bitch ain't one. <laughs> and it, and it, I suppose over supermarkets, the high street has still got that over click and collect or click and whatever, purely because people like to go in and pick their own vegetables out of that shit yeah. massive wholesale box and stuff because they don't want a bit of meat that's been battered about and the last one on shelf. You know what I mean? Mm. You can't choose that. If it's delivered, it's delivered. Well, sorry. I know you can turn it back, but then you ain't got a steak. You know what I mean? So, so there is still benefits of the high street uh, in comparison. But just to just to kind of round that thing off, I think the problem is with capitalism because you can't really blame Asda for selling more and aiming for more money. Anybody would no, do it in their no. position. The problem is, and a lot of people like Elon Musk have said this in the past couple of years, capitalism need, has now got to a point where it's maxed out and it needs to find a way to keep sustainable because if it carries on the way it will be, it won't be sustainable and we'll have a country that's, Living in, on the in the and... in the car industry, there's a term called the race to the bottom, and and what they do, and it, anyone who doesn't know, I'm I'm I've been a part of the car industry since I was 13, so this is an area that I can really like wax lyrical on. What say you've got five people all with the same car? They'll all go online and see what the next person selling it for, then aim to be two hundred and fifty pounds cheaper. Then the next person will do it. Then the next person will do it. And then the person who's the highest will then go underneath all that. And it's what they call the race to the bottom. Asda, Sainsbury's, Tesco, um, Morrison's—they all do the same thing. They all do this race to the bottom. And it's that, like EC One, like Evolution Vaping, it's that what creates this. Well, of course, they're cheaper than a brick and mortar store because they're playing race to the bottom, whereas brick and mortar can't afford to do that. I mean, that a lot I, of times, EC One will sell to, things. I go to Fin Shop, which is literally on the corner from me. I go there just to support the shop. I get some Nick Salts. I could buy them online, um, but I, I go there to to support the shop. And I think a lot, of, like he said on there, a lot of them are mouth to lung vapors, and ninety percent of them are just there to stop smoking. Not obvious. Black cap, I am the car industry. He <laughs> is the <laughs> <big> part. <laughs> so I'll tell you what. While we're still talking, that why don't we do the hand checks for for uh, it's hand check time, people. It's that time, people. It's hand check time. Handcheck time. Again, people, people, if you want to be a part of this handcheck time, get yourself over to the Facebook group. Make yourself a member. There's loads of good stuff and loads of lovely people on there as well. Matty Hardy, I had you in the back of my head. It, it is a bit of pick and mix where you will be a part of it because the dick from Derby often forgets. <laughs> yeah, well, while Bumper were playing, Mr. B said, how many people have you included? The question isn't how many people have included, it's how many people have I left out. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Let's be honest about the situation. So we've got Alan Powell, work set up. Uh, PMP pod tank on the uh, Vapor Storm Puma 200 with drip hacks, cherry winter, basic but effective. I like, I like that in the, in in black. I've got it in like this funky, silly colour, but I like that. I reviewed that years ago. They're a good little modern, really light as well. I, I don't know what it is. I like the power button. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking love it. Nice, big, chunky power button. That's awesome. Yeah, my, my, I'll show you afterwards. Mine my, my doesn't look like that, but yeah. My button does, but it doesn't look like that. Oof, look at that collection. Plethora. Is Bob Cat talking? I included him this week. Go on, V Rod. What else? We've it's got the V Rod. You've got, got, got the Thelma. Uh, Thelma. Yeah. You've got the Nautilus Prime X, and you've got the other one is the brand new one, which is. Is that two V Rods, actually? That's two V Rods. Yeah, that's two V Rods. There are two V Rods, a Nautilus, and a Thelma. V Rod kit, Thelma with the Siegfried, Nautilus Prime X, and the V Rod uh, and the Brunheld MTL. Brunheld, very nice. Nice. This one is from Kieran Doyle. Ooh. Aspire Mix, uh, Inakin Erez 2, and Dinner Lady Lemon Tart. Erez 2, that's really, really nice tank, that. Yeah, it is. 
It, it looks quite well together, doesn't it, as well? The new that's one... a nice mixy, mixy, matchy, matchy, that. The new one's <laughs> coming out as well from Aspire over the next couple of weeks. The new side by side. Is that the Spire here? No, the Spire is already out. No, the new side by side's coming. <laughs> Fucking love that. Spire here. Phil White left his mod at home. So oh, he's, he's got his soap bar. bar. But he didn't steal one. He's using a geek bar. At work. That that I'll tell you what, that flavour as well, which is the apple ice, is really, really nice. My dad loved that. Really nice flavour from them. They're about John four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Yeah, but how long did it last? Um probably about a day. Long enough for a night out with a few beers. That's what it lasts. That's how long it lasts. When yeah. I first started writing for Easy Click, uh Johnny used to laugh at me, the uh, owner, because he'd send me loads of disposable pods and I bought a clicker to click count how many puffs I had on each. Because we make claims, this pod does 900 <laughs> puffs. How can you can fuck off with 900 puffs I'm counting? It depends oh, who's puffing 100. on it. If you've got a Smurf puffing on it, you probably will get 900 puffs. But if you've got me, it's more like five. <laughs> they do do a bigger version of it, the XL one, which shows, uh, you can get a lot more out of them. Now, I know a lot of people complain about these, but again, if it gets you off the stinkers, if you're buying, uh, say it takes you, you spend 35 quid, 40 quid of them a week, and you don't want the hassle of batteries, you know your flavours, and you've been spending 75, 80 quid on cigarettes, then you're obviously making a, a saving. It all depends how people vape. I know would say you can get there is, a, there is a market for, there is a market for these geek bars and i think where the market for those are is like if you're going on a long haul flight or if you're going on um yeah a night out or something where you don't want to take your expensive 300 quid mod that's the sort of thing you keep on you you know, you like you said you're going on an holiday for for 14 days or you go seven days or something and you don't like you said you don't want to take loads of liquid batteries whatever else pop them in your case you're done I think it was your brother, little bro, um, Mark Solom, that said on his show that the, the problem with them in this country is because the type of device it is, they have to be over the tax and stuff makes them a lot more expensive than they should be. But they should definitely shouldn't be brought off. I, where I were getting all them disposables, it was before any of the big brands started releasing them. And they are surprisingly, for, in regards to an MTL device, they are really good. Oh, but nowadays the flavors they are. usually come with you. Yeah. It was like Motto, they released these little tiny ones were charging eleven pounds for them and they were absolute pants. Hello, uh, Motto. L- l- these these <laughs> these wasn't these are good them. I don't know why that came to my mind then. Hello, Motto. <laughs> <laughs> We've got John I'm... Cole with a topside jewel and the RDA for vaping with Asmodus Lusto L- Lusto Lustro. Lustro. Is... Is that... <laughs> with is that a pattern or is that extremely chipped? Pattern. Oh, it just looks extremely chipped to my trained eye, then. It must have really like a he's got a huge use it as a football. <laughs> That's a bit there. Bit of crimson that still, looks, still looks chipped. <laughs> it's that splatter effect, isn't it? Yeah. That's why I don't like it. You see, I like either... If it's going to be black, it's going to be plain black. It was Vulpu with the Argos range, weren't it, that... Put, yeah, the, the, like this, a black mod with black splats yeah. on, and you were going, "That's awful! Why have you done that?" It looked like it was awkwardly placed when you were knocking one off. <laughs> <laughs> but Mark H, here's the contents of his works locker. Uh, oh, it's, he said that he might not be able to get tonight's show because he was at work. Big so, Mark H. If you're in chat, Mark, hello. If you're in uh, not in chat and you're watching on replay, hello. Don't forget to comment. Remember, hashtag the dick from Derby. But I do like that work locker. It looks like there's a bottle of Coke and shitloads of vape stuff. Yeah. <laughs> We've got Mark Richardson with a V God Fatality M25 with some custody Claire. Ooh. Dude, I tell you what, I do love the badge on that V God. It, it makes it look just a little bit more panache. It gives it a bit more shred of Eve. Yeah, it'd be a lot blank without it, wouldn't it? They look a bit boring and simple. Matt Hardy, mm. Hope, with the Aromarizer Plus V2. I like the mod. I, I, the I mod's like, gorgeous. I like the... Uh, I like, I'm not too keen on the mod, but I, I like the uh, the tank. No, I don't like mods. I think they're a bit too uh, old-fashioned. Well, that's that's what they say about, you know, taste Taste is subjective. I've got good taste, Eddie. You've got sharp <laughs> taste. I don't like that mod. <laughs> I'm not really into them stab-woody ones. 
You can't hold, see the thing is the unique. That's what you love about them. The unique. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they also look like baby sick as well. <laughs> what? What the? F- what? I, I, what? Which ones? Puke out them colours, man. You, if you give them a, a bit of Ribena. And I'm going to point out baby sick. A, a Ribena, uh, that's uh, cabbage and also a parsnip. <laughs> <laughs> If I may point out, baby sick does often look unique as well. It does, yeah. Especially a splattered effect. Matt, we love you, we just don't love your mod. Mr. B, yeah, love we love you, Matt. <laughs> I love your mod, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Paul Griffiths with a sub box with the vape shell or BA. I'm not, Do not I'm... think they are grossly overpriced. I also don't like the look of that thing on the top. It looks like he's. I don't know. <laughs> It looks like a JVC mod. Yeah. You know, like proper worksman's... Like you should have Caterpillar on the side, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's not going to break anything, is it? No. I, just, I, I remember when they came out and they were extortionately priced. And I remember chuckling when I saw the price and we like, fuck that shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. Nobody got time for that. Steve Jones with a Deja Vu DJV with the Tinker 2. Uh, the Tinker 2... I actually said that it was the Zeus, but it, in, and I can't remember what I said it were. It's the Aspire Dynamo with a Steam Crave. A yeah, Steam Crave. It, it's the, is it the, um, that, that's the V Supreme, isn't it? It's the V3 Supreme, isn't it? No idea. Yeah, it looks like No, no clue on that one. I'm not a massive fan of Steam Crave, to be honest. Oh, no, you no, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of Steam Crave. I am. The Tony... <laughs> See, I read this to myself earlier. Made sure I remembered I'd say it and I forgot I'd say it. Nice pulse box there. Eh? Nice. Tony Brocklebank with a pulse with the Pyramid RDA. Doozy vape. Doozy vape. Doozy blue ras- raspberry. See, my words have gone now. Blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. Doozy blue raspberry. Mix with a slide tank, nick salt, it- silver blend, tobacco and vanilla. Here's a question for everyone in chat. Who can tell me the actual raspberry that blue raspberry is based on the actual name of the raspberry. Steve. <laughs> no, you fucking tit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Fucking hell. But the, well, the reason why I asked it's fucking Steve, have you heard? The reason why I asked so many, because I've got some blue raspberry ones to um, review. But so many people think blue raspberry is like a mixture of blueberry and raspberry, but it actually isn't. Blue raspberry is an actual flavour, and it's from the white bark raspberry, which is, ironically enough, purple. <laughs> well, that's so some, some brilliant it. information. I thought you could actually get, um, I thought it was like a, a blueberry mixed with a raspberry. Well, no, the, the, there is, if you actually look it up, Blue Raspberry is a flavour that was brought in 1952 by the Wisconsin... Oh, it's a fucking company in Wisconsin. Um, like a sweets company. But it is, it's from a white bark raspberry. Yeah, hey, learn something new. There you go, people. That's what it's all about. Don't forget, we will be doing your Rochford giveaway a little bit later on. Also, you've got the code in the corner. 15% off while the show is on of all the new flavours, which is the brand new one as well, which is the Lemon Meringue, which is really, really nice. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. Um, but while we're at it, I tell you, we'll, we'll mix things up a little bit. We'll, we'll go to the Vape 8 Deals of the Week. The message from deep within the jungle. I've searched high. And low for a lot of the deals. So here from Vapep, deals of the week. Round door, I thought I was going to get something thrown at me then. Black cap. <laughs> White bark raspberry in China is spelt Steve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or Steve. <laughs> <laughs> so the deals of the week, people. Right, everybody, boys and girls, grab your socks, wave your winkies, because it's time for my. When I work out how to, deals of the week. Oh, have I got some stunners here for you this week? Let's just pray it works. You ready? Three, two. Yay, we're in. Right, first up, ECG one this week has some stunning, stunning job uh, uh, jobbies, bargains. And we're going to start off with the Vape X Meteor 80 Watt 510 mod. Was a whopping £50 
now 29.99 and you get it in this awesome gunmetal black with red red piping or you can have the god awful red whichever one you choose it's going to be a good deal. Moving on next. I, I think if the... you want to check a, a review Ooh. out for that as well. Sorry to interrupt. I think uh, Shrek's done it and also the Salford Vapor. I think Shrek's done that. So if you want to check a review out for that. And I, I think both of them said that they're the only ones who have actually done it in the UK. So uh, get yourself for a second, out and check it. I thought you were going to say them for a second and they said it was shit. <laughs> I think they said the something, they something about the, the actual charging thing because you, you can buy it a separate charging plate. It doesn't come with it, which says that you can do it in like 15 minutes or something like that. But you have what, to have a 40 watt plug, which it doesn't come with. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> what do you want, plug? Something, nice. something like that. So if you want to know more about it, get over to Shrek's Reviews or also um, the South of Vapor. Next up, we have the UL Crown 3. This is an excellent sub tank. Was 20 quid. Now a snippet at 8 99 You can get it in. Sapphire, sapphire blue. Pants purple. Iridescent, Harley, it's called Iridescent, which is technically rainbow, and that's it. So I'd go for blue, personally. I, I, I quite like the Iridescent, if you're feeling a bit, you know, fruity. So there you go, that's the UL Crown 3. Next one is something I personally have that was sent to me by Viking Vapor, which is the Utrona X Fallout Vape Gaia 200 Watt. Te -pe 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 -pe. 200 watt box mod limited edition now that. you get this you get this in clear white or smoked i've got the smoked version and i'm telling you now it is a fantastic mod how oh, many uh, watts is it how, how many watts Two, is it 200 watts <laughs> wow what do you think i said i was, I was just taking piss at your stuttering oh, man, <laughs> 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 It was 400 by the time it finished. <laughs> Granville, shut your mouth. <laughs> so moving on. I love We've that clear the... look of that, though. I really do like oh, the clear look yeah. of it. No, it is. It, especially if you've got some matchy matchy batteries. Yeah. You know, it looks absolutely amazing. That's the type of mod that where your batteries can really make Matter, or break yeah. this. Yeah, if you've got two shit looking batteries, people are going to take the piss out of you. So, <laughs> moving on, we've got the Aspire X Cerberus kit by Geek Vape. Was $74.99, now $49.99. This is the full kit. It comes in red and black, black and silver, and JVC orange. I like the silver <laughs> one, personally. <laughs> Well, it is. It technically is. You do get the full kit with the tank and everything. Uh, it comes with the Aegis X mod, the Cerberus tank, which is uh, blah, 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 bloody gorgeous. Powered by dual 18650s with an upgrade AS 2.0 chipset. So there you go. That is the Cerberus kit. Moving on. If I can... Why does this always get in me bloody way? Hang on. It's still pissing me out. Can we just click... There, there we go. I saw this and I thought this was kind of cool. For all you Met Mod lovers out there, you've got the Shiny to 3000 cleaning kit. Ooh. Shiny Itis. Sh well, Shiny Tus. Shiny Itis. Shiny Tus. I'll call it Shiny Tus. I fucking like Shiny Tus. <laughs> Fuck it. So you got your Shiny Tus 3000 cleaning kit for $19.99. You can make all sorts look fantastic with that cleaning kit. Maybe even your missus's face. And she tells you you can't have it. So there you, you go. Can I have a look at your shiny tits? <laughs> you, you want to look at my shiny tits, baby? Now, the last deal I've got for you, I showed to my Brian, and this is the face he gave. <laughs> oh, he, oh my God. He was just, I, I showed him the deal, and he's like, oh, and this is it. The Lost Vape. Falema DNA 250C gift box edition. Now I will give a big shout out to my Derbyshire dickhead friend who put this me pointed me in the direction of this because I couldn't believe the price. I'll send it to you as well. Well, <laughs> well what about <laughs> touche, touche. It was $229.99, but for a short time only, you get it at $169.99. Now it comes with either those three. Or you can have, hang on, you can have those three. Oh, piss off. There we go. Right. Those three. Or you can have 
those three, come on, there you go, those three, or you can have, which is my favourite, these three, because I love that blue one there. That is gorgeous. I, I really wanted that uh, snakeskin one. Well, they, luckily enough, they put the snakeskin one in every one of them. Have you noticed that? Yeah. I was going to The snakeskin is I'm in every my, one. I think Vic's going to send me the... Uh, the cover of that one because I really want that. Well, that me. that tells me that not a lot of people like the snake skin, otherwise, they wouldn't have put it in every fucking one of them. They've obviously got too many that they need to give away. But there you go, that is the full deals of this week. Just to run over, you've got the Vapex Meteor at $29.99, the Uwell Crown 3 at $8.99, and the Ultron Agaea at $32.99. <laughs> <laughs> All for missing one. You've got the Aegis X Cerberus kit at $49.99 from Evolution Vaping. The Shiny Ita Shiny to 3000 Clean kit at $19.99 from Evolution Vaping. And you've got Brian's favourite, the Lost Vape Thalema DNA 250 kit for just a snippet under £170. There you go, folks. There is my deals of the week. Absolutely, really well done, buddy. Nice to see you, Lisa. Um, I'll tell you what I want to ask you you two. Um, what's your thoughts on this? Especially over the last year, you've seen a lot of this happen. So you had like the, the Nautilus Primex that came out with the kit with everything in it. You had the Oxford kit where there was everything in it um, and you could buy these. The Aspire did it. Um, you've now got the Thelma with all the different stuff. Do you think there should be a thing? I know, I think um, as well, um, Archery did it, they did the AK-47 mod. Is, do you think people are going to be really wanting to buy these? I know a lot of people wanted the Ox for X. What's your thoughts? It's just kind I of marketing, see, isn't it? Well, it is, but this is where Vupu really fucked up. Now, going down the lines of the Flamer kit, you look at this, this is the, the Drag 3. Everybody recognise it. If this had been a C-frame mod that had all the sort of different backings that you could buy for it to put on and all sorts of different kits, that would have been an amazing 9 out of 10 mod. So, you know, so you can accessorize it. So we all like, look, we all get shiny to us. And at the end of the day, it's one of those things where if you have a little bit... I, I liked the Prussian blue when I began with it. Now I'm like, yeah, it's Prussian blue. I, if I could just swap around, it would have been amazing. I think I think kits are a good thing. The, um, the well, obviously we've got we've got Jay in from Ups on Funk. Uh, if you if you haven't seen the Aegis custom skins, you can get they're absolutely fantastic. Um, I think that another thing I, I'd like to yeah. maybe see him do the Vupu ones because there's a lot of the Vupu ones you can take apart now as well. Absolutely, um, he, he does aim to do them. But I've just sent him the Smock Arc Fox so he can measure that up to do skins for that. Um, he, he does do them, but obviously the problem is having to buy every, especially this year where every single mod that's come out does it. He obviously has to buy every single one, measure them, play about with them to make sure the padding's the same, and everything else. So it is quite an expensive. Uh... The, the problem with the art foxes is only three people bought them. <laughs> you mean included? So it's it's not a massive forget. market. But I didn't but buy it. I got them. Oh, there you go then. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll I've send just got this to the man will be here tomorrow to review. About um, I said, to be fair, it only came out about three days ago. <laughs> yeah, mine's here tomorrow to review. Uh, but yeah, I, I I'm think, never getting one. I think uh, I think the, the the interchangeable sort of stuff is really really good. But I just didn't know whether the kits, especially the prices, some of them are chart. Like, I think uh, when it comes to kits, it's a good idea if you do what Vupu did. It, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Vupu did a subhome and an MTL device as a kit, didn't they? Yes. Uh, like a gift kit. And, and I think that's a good idea because there's a lot of people, us free included, that like a nice detail, but do want an MTL device for certain occasions or certain times. I, I know you, Aidan, especially, you're a massive lover of both, aren't you? So that is a very good idea for general public for one both. I, I, yeah, I love that idea. I think having the option, because there are times when I swap to a pipe or I'll swap to a, an MTL device, it's rare... But there are times, but if I had a kit that had the option of both, chop done. You I know, mean, you're gonna... as well, if you look at presents, like, for example, the Geek Vape X kit, when that came out, I think that would retail in between 70 and 90 quid, depending where you went. So if you could buy that Lost Vape gift box for 170 oh, quid, oh, 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 all right, you're paying twice as much, but you're getting a lot more for your money. Well, a, man, it's, a, it's a DNA 250C. 
Yeah, what you're thinking as well though is is with the Oxford you were getting all the different RBA decks. You were also getting yeah. the um, the RB t- the the actual um, rebuildable deck as well. You had a lot mm. everything that you, had, you needed in there for it. Yeah, um, same with that um, one that you sent me gratefully sent me, which is going to be reviewed very shortly. Yeah, the the, uh, the Aspire one. The yeah, Aspire, the um, uh, G G Z one was it Z one? That's it. Yeah, no, but... it's not Z1. I'm sure it's... Anyway, yeah, an Aspire one. Something like that. Aspire one that has, that has, like, direct to... Well, it's restrictive direct to lung. It's not massively, but it does also come with all the RBA decks and all that included, which I think is... I don't think... The thing is, though, you, when you're including RBA decks and things like that, who are you aiming at? Because you're not really aiming at a new Vapor, are you? I think the RBA is really good because obviously if you don't want to keep buying stock coils, you can build them yourself if you can oh, do it. And I think it's a good possibly. way to start off because obviously you buy yourself a little bit of round wire. You, a lot of them have got the tools or a screwdriver that they can just wrap them around and you can sort of like jig, <laughs> jig them in. The, a, a lot of the decks, the, the deck that you get with the Oxford is a really good RBA deck as well. And the Aspire you, one's really good. And you the can Oscars. buy Clapton wire now. You can buy Clapton wire. Which is already pre-spun and all that shit, and all you're literally doing is wrapping it round the three millimeter piece of metal. Yeah, well, to be honest with you, a, a lot of people, you know, all these fuse Claptons, aliens, and all that. Sometimes in these little RBA decks, you can't beat just a ra- round wire build. It really does give you the flavour that you want in a yeah, lot better than these underrated. fuse Claptons. The, I, See, think- I like ribbon wire. I like ribbon wire for me. That gives the best flavour for me. The flat wire. In regards, but it's, to- hard, but it's hard to get hold of. In regards to the gift kits, the best two I've ever received. Well, no, an example of two I've received. The worst one of the two was the Geek Vape uh, Boost, the latest Boost, which came in this briefcase metal plastic yeah, thing yeah. that was huge, and you opened it, and it had like three coils in it and the device. And you're going, well, that's a massive waste of space. Although it were very cool. It even came with keys to lock it. But then the Vupu did the similar thing just before it, where they sent you, I think it was the... One of the new newer devices at the time, it was about December, I think it was like the August. Uh, they sent three of the PMP different pods, so they had the MTL, the RTA, and the actual normal pod, and then they had about twelve different PMP coils. Now mm. that is a fucking amazing thing because then, for example, I was talking to uh, Kyra Kira about it, and mm. she was asking about coils and stuff and the pods and what's compatible. That gift. For somebody that's just getting the device, doesn't have to get a coil and think, well, that's my favourite out of them, so I'll stick with that one. They can try each one yeah, yeah, yeah. and then go, yeah. I like that one, that one, and that one. You know what I mean? I, I think that's the best type of gift where it's got all a selection of different things you can do with one device well, rather than just didn't the seven Artemis devices. Didn't do that? Uh, yeah, did they did. do that? Yeah, they did it with, with, the, the, AK with the big AK. Yeah, that's the one, the AK-47 one. Right then, people, we're going to quickly move on. <laughs> Don't forget, we will be doing your uh, Rochford giveaway straight away after this. There is only 36 likes. There's 105 people watching. Get them thumbs up, people. It helps the show. Big love to you all. We're going to do Harley's Tech Report. Yeah, it's Harley's Tech Report. Tech Report. Oops. Oops, oops, what? It, it, You're out of the screen. It's all right, I can sort that, I think. Nothing, no. No, we can't. Not that one. See, no, oh, hang on. That one. What's he doing? There What's we he are. doing? It, that what is guy. working, but I need to get rid of that. But we'll do that in a minute. <laughs> if, if anyone's wondering what happens when we play bumpers, you know, we don't sit here silent. We generally sit here going, you're a fucking dick. We take the piss out of you like you wouldn't believe. It's quite funny. I know, I, I, I end stream every... fat prick and everything. If, if you've ever noticed that after being uh, after the bumpers, I'm crying usually. That's why. That's because I'm reminded there of this from Darby. Right. The Zelos it. kit. This is coming tomorrow. I can't wait to have a play with it. The Zelos free kit. Uh, it's, it's from Aspire, and it's that kit there. Basically, I, I look through the website, and it says it's very bog standard. Oh, I'm not thinking of the right thing. It is well, comfortably in hand, which well, it does be. say the legend of the starter kit. So if it's aimed at starters, it will be bog standard. Well, yeah, true. It's it's got the by the looks of it, it's got the same screen as what you get with the V rod and also with the uh, rear and the Felix, which is a, a decent screen, decent chip. <clears throat> I'm thinking of a wrong one. This is not a bog standard one. Uh, the eighty watts uh, temperature control, two hundred, six hundred, or one hundred to three hundred fifteen Celsius. 0.1 up to 3.5. So it's not um, 
massively in-depth device, but it's not bog standard either. You've got them. Aspire Light doing these these days, don't they? Give the very precision MTL airflow. They do. Ball. Yeah, they do. So you, you, you've got a nice bit of specific airflowage there. Yeah, I'm looking I'm forward to having all, a little play tomorrow. All efforts for convenience. I, I do. I, I do appreciate uh, Aspire more, a lot more for MTL than I do for Subohm. I have to say. The, the Aspire ninth tank that they did is a fantastic MTL tank. It obviously comes with the rebuild again, comes with the rebuildable deck, suborn and that sort of thing. And I think Aspire is really leaning heavily into the MTL market. Yeah, well, I don't I don't know. The tank that you got with V Rod wasn't mouth to lung and the, the, the tank um yeah, what, but if what... you look at everything they brought out in the last year. A lot of it is MTL focused. But, but, yeah. but, but it, it, two ways you got to look at that is is a lot of the stuff that they have brought out the the tanks that came with the Felix and the one with the V Rod they wasn't they were more um, sub own tanks. But no, you, but the zero G the ninth tank. What, well, the, the zero G out? came. You could have a um, use different coils with that, couldn't you? It didn't you could, have... but it was at, at best it was restrictive direct along. It's not. Yeah, but you've got to think that Aspire do come from the Nautilus. Yeah, yeah I was, I was well, about to say that's the, what I'm saying. The BBC coils are by far the best selling thing of selling it, surely. Yeah, BBC are really good coils. But I, I would imagine the Nautilus coil, to be honest with you. I think that's the very first time anyone has put really good and BBC in the same sentence. Well, I don't know. I think the BBC coils are absolutely brilliant. Not that flew over your head. <laughs> no, it's BV, BV, it's BV, not BB. BV. <laughs> I thought you were saying BBC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I'm just going to swift on because we've only got seven minutes left and you've all had time to read that for anyone that is interested. Uh, next, we've got a video. Oh, I love the your video. What have we got here? Yeah, is that the obelisk? Obelisk 60. Okay. Pod system. So obviously they did release the obelisk, whatever it's called, uh, not too long ago, and now this is the 60. Yeah, it's 60 watt pod mod. I'm right bored of pod mods these days, to be honest with you. The, I did write something down for that. Yeah, but I got that for the airflow picture. So this the is 60 watts. The only I really like is the Ursa. It's the only one I really like. The bragging that it's got a really long battery life. Uh, really long battery life because the shit that it does, it basically got this chip in it that reduces an, uh, battery loss uh, and... Makes the most efficient power and all that shite. It's got the Z top airflow, and yet again another pod system claiming that it doesn't leak. Zero leakage, they claim, which I always used to love reviewing zero leakage systems because you could always go and it leaked. Um, <laughs> it's got two thousand two hundred milliamp hour battery, which they last, reckon in can last for two days. Um, because of all the energy loss shit they've said it's in it. Yeah, if you vape it three times a day, maybe. <laughs> again, it again it all depends what 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 the coils are. If you're vaping it at fifteen, sixteen watt, then you, you might do. Now this is what really in, intrigued me. I saw this and went, yeah, scratch resistant, right? Not care. And then just as I was about to move on, I realised it said <coughs> uh, resistant to humidity and big change in temperature, which is a really important thing that no one ever clicks onto because in summer, especially in foreign countries, if it's really hot. Le leakage of tanks. Everyone always used to come back to shop and go, it's leaking. Because you've left it in sun, it's 30 degrees, you take. Of course it's going to leak. Your yeah. liquid's got thinner. Yeah. And no one ever clicks onto that. I used to put uh, messages on uh, Vape Mill's Facebook page going, right, it's hot, so this is the things you need to you keep need in to mind for your vape. Wick. Yeah, change your wick. Um, keep it out of direct sunlight. And Obviously, it's not essential stuff, but if you don't want a leakage and screw up your coils and shit and Obviously, your nicotine to change colour and shit. Um, right, last one is Hell Vape. Last week, I showed you these pictures and I kind of slagged them off a little bit. And I have got to apologise to Hell Vape because I saw this and went, yeah, my arse, making it out as if you've carved it out of a block. But they actually have. It is CNC machined completely. Uh, and it only weighs 100 grams. It is a single 21700, I believe. Uh, there's a bit of information about the chip for you. 
But this is what I run about, about the bog standard thing. They've gone and talked out about, um, oh, we've CNC machined it. Just two and seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, stick in Rochford to, for your giveaway. Stick it in now. Go on, bro. And it's, it, This is another thing a lot of brands don't tend to do. If you're using a 21700, you can use a 120 watt. 2700, you can use 100 watt. 18650, you can use 80 watt, which is something you don't really see that often, isn't it? No. Um, so the, it, it, from, from what I've seen on their website, it doesn't do temperature control or whatever. It's just a bog standard single battery 21700 fire at your will mod. It, Please remember this is UK only and all of Ireland. That's for giveaway, not for the mod. Yeah, I understand. It's not, I must admit, it's not for me. It, mine's on, like mine's it. on its way, so I, again, I can't wait to have a little bit of a play with it. Well, I've refused point blank to, refu to review anything from Hellvape. Why? Why? Because <laughs> I have a thing, right, here's the thing. I have a, like, a, a loyalty thing, and it's, for me, it's, if someone, like, fucks over a mate or someone I consider a friend, then I'll just, nah, done. Cut your chips. Um, All right, they over, when they oh. fucked over Vic like they did, it was like, oh, All right, that's yeah. it. But obviously what you're talking about is is, is Vic's uh, big enough to uh, to sort itself out. Of course he is. Of course he is. He's a big boy. Loyalty. He's a big boy. To, to honest, loyalty. It's, it's what I'm about. You know what I mean? From, from my perspective, the reason I was sound so sure, so sure, so shocked is I really do appreciate a good hell vape device. Um, and, I, and I can't really set, I can't really flag a brand off because I, I don't really know what about that. But if if a device is good, then you know what That's I mean? a big boy to sort just... yourself out. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, you have still got 10 minutes or five minutes to get yourself some of the brand new flavour. And it is nice, Mr. B. You've tried. You've left yours at the shop, haven't you? Ooh. Well, post office, but yeah. Post office. It's amazing stuff. I absolutely, absolutely love this stuff. This lemon meringue. Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's one of these that you need to let steep. You're going to get a two... If you just buy it straight off and you put your nick in, you're going to want to let it steep. But the more you let it steep and you can resist... The better your flavour you're gonna get, and it is really, really nice. Just right jealous, to be fair. <laughs> I've been right looking forward to that. And then all, all through the, the half an hour before the show, we're like, "Oh, it's right, nice. I think it's this. I think it's that." And I'm sat there like, <laughs> you "Get yourself off." Good, you that. guys. I'm going home. Yeah. Uh, again, people, please remember stick the thumbs up because it does really help the the analytics for the show. Um, I've not looked how many we've got um, watching the minute. I think you're about hundred nod. Um, we, we've done, it's been absolutely fantastic this show we've talked about plenty of uh, stuff uh, that, that's actually about um, also don't forget next week we have got the wonderful Grizzly Vapes uh, from the Misfits obviously they're doing a charity show on the 1st of May which it's, it's a 12 hour isn't it 12 hour charity show which we're going to be on um, also lads on the UK Vape show the Savs lads so it's, it's going to be a good old giggle um, we've got some shite to uh, to eat. Well, you have. I'm going to have my eyebrows waxed by Mrs. I, I B. Thought, I thought you was getting dressed up as a little mermaid. I have no idea what she's got in store for me. Uh, I have literally no idea. She's coming in with all sorts of things, and um, before I know it, I'm probably uh, to see, yeah, to see what happens. I know I'm getting my eyebrows waxed. I know that for a fact. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else that happens, I have no idea. Will they be hairy, Aiden? It's, I'll tell you what, Terry, it's not looking good, say. brother. This, this is definitely got airs on it. I'm going to eat that. And then I've got this shake to do as well. And then I've got loads of e-liquids as well. For the, the entire time I'm on, I'm just going to be sick. <laughs> well, uh, I would, like you said, I'm just hoping it tastes like chicken for you. I, I know it's not going to. At least it's deep fried and not juicy. It's mate, mate, be juicy. <clears throat> oh. I've, got, I've got a plan in my head that I'm just going to stick it in and chomp. And then whatever happens after that will will happen. If I'm sick, I just have this image in my head of biting into it, and then all this green shit coming out. It's like, oh, bah, oh, nah, that'd be it for me. Alan from Spice and Easy. If people don't know Alan from Spice and Easy, go and check him out. Check their channel out. They do some brilliant spice packs uh, for your curries, kebabs, and all that. Go and check them out. Uh, Alan, I've actually got Reaper pickled onions. They're going into the shake that I'm doing, including <laughs> snails. And, oh, oh, oh yo, no. Do you have any idea how Alan? pickled onions intensify the flavour of chilli? Oh, well, thanks, mate. Well done. 
<laughs> I fucking love you. There, there's a reason why you and me are so close. I fucking love well, you. I know. I know, man. It's going to be amazing to watch. Dickhead from Burnley. <laughs> that bastard from Burnley and the dick from Derby. Right, and ladies and gentlemen, we've got 51 eligible users. Well, eligible. Well, it says eligible users. It's not great, that. We are going to roll it. Let's roll it, baby. Black Country Vapor, you have won, brody. I think that's the second time you've won. Um, little bro vapes. Oh, oh vapes. <laughs> Mrs. B's on about Come. sending you some mealworms to throw a tea shake. <laughs> we'll stick with the shit they'll send me, okay? There's, there's, I've, got, I've got all sorts. Well done, bro. Absolutely fantastic. Let me know. Uh, well, obviously, he's going to let me know whether he wants it. Do you want it? Do you want it? Does he want it? Go on. Above you know the clouds, you want it. He's going to let us know. Does he want it? So we're going to say our goodbyes. Thank you so much, people. We'll go over to the wonderful Harley. Goodbye, everybody. It's been delightful. Thank you, chat. You are delightful as always. Thank you, everybody, watching on replay. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Don't comment anything Mr. B tells you to put because it's just, just don't. Do, get your independence. Don't do, do, do what do, someone do. tells you to do. Just do as you want. Hashtag uh, Dick from Derby. <laughs> <laughs> you too, it's been all right. Um, it's been quite adequate. See you later, guys. God, he, he sounds like, like his wife. Adequate. Over to you, Mr. B. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Sounds like, oh, it right, went out special, no, but I, you've been quite adequate. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't even get that as praise. <laughs> no, so it's everyone, it's been a wonderful night. I, I do enjoy when it's with us three. Uh, it, it's like it's like being in the pub with my best mate and my pet dog. Uh, that's what it's like being there. I'll let you two decide which is which. So, <laughs> <laughs> to, to be fair, Harley does have the look of the like the schnauzer, doesn't he? Just a little bit. The, 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 the little schnauzer going. Yeah, no, it's been fantastic tonight. Thank you, everyone, for showing up. Thank you all for being here. Hit the like button because it does make a difference. And I'll see you back again next week for more Fat Bastard Antics and Deals of the Week. Ta-ta for now. Ladies and gentlemen, you are a bunch of stars. Everybody in chat, you make this show. Thank you so much as well to the spanners who look after us week in, week out. Obviously, before us, there's no Devil Vapor at the minute. Well, he's not coming back. He's on a Monday. Go and check him out on a Monday. Um, it is from 9, while well, 10, I think it is, after Mobro. So, big love. Thanks a lot for coming into the chat. Big love to you all. All the people on the replay, make sure you leave that comment down below and the wonderful Harley will read it out. And uh, next week, like I said, we have got the wonderful Grizzly Vapes on. We're going to talk a little bit about what's happening on the charity stream on May the 1st. Big love to my co-hosts. I love you two loads. And we will see you next week. Same time, same bat channel. Big love from Three Men in a Vape Show. And we are nine away from the 100. Good nighter. Ooh. I tell you, can you believe it? KGB's actually put hashtag Dick from Darwin. What a geezer! Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> I... Jimmy Connors! Dick from Darwin's from here too. Oh, Irishman, pop of the evening to you soon. Hashtag the Dick from Darwin. Start the volume. <laughs>